instruments of the sacred sound family that I'm using come from an old tradition predating the Buddhist arrival in the Himalayas, going back to a shamanic culture known as the Bon culture, spelled B-O-N, from which um, Qigong also came. Many healing arts came from that old, old tradition. The Buddhists, when they arrived in that part of the world, incorporated the bowls as well as the other members of the Sacred Sound family. The Tingshas. The Ganja, the bell, and its silent partner, the Dorje. The bowls themselves are known as ambassadors of peace and instruments of compassion. And their effect on consciousness is very profound. They bring things into consciousness that need to come into consciousness. They help process things that are in consciousness. They're said to resonate with the primordial frequency of creation. Even though the pitches of them vary, the, the tone is associated with the sacred syllable Om. The uh, sounds of the bowls directly affect the organs by way of the auditory nerve, which is connected not only to the brain, but directly to the major organs. The bowls bring our brain waves into a slower state, an alpha state or a theta state, which is a meditative state. People experience very deep um, relaxation in that state where healing can more easily occur, can, can arise spontaneously.